Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about indices which is in chapter 1 indices, set and lock. We can write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 as 2 to the power of 5 in index form. This is known as the power sometimes called an exponent or index. a to the power of x is written as a to the power of x equals to b. A is called the base. X is the power or the index. And b is the value of the index form. Okay, so there are 10 properties of indices that we have to know. Look at the first property. A to the power of n is actually equals to A multiplied by itself n times. Therefore, if you have negative 4 to the power of 6, it is equivalent to negative 4 multiplied by itself 6 times. So negative 4 times 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 negative 4. Okay, look at the second property. We call it as zero index. a to the power of 0 equals to 1 for any value of a that is not equal to 0. So if you have negative 0 0.3 to the power of 0, it is equivalent to 1. The third one is called the negative index. If you have a to the power of negative n, it is equivalent to 1 over a to the power of n. So 3 to the power of negative 2 can also be written as 1 over 3 squared. a to the power of 1 over n is also equivalent to the n root of a. So 3 to the power of half is equal to the square root of 3. Okay, look at the fifth property class. A to the power of m over n is equivalent to the n root of a to the power of m or the n root of a to the power of m. So, we can write a to the power of 2 over 3 as the cube root of a to the power of 2, right? Or we can also write it as 8 squared, the cube root of 8 squared. Right? Okay, look at number 6 class. So, if we have a to the power of m multiply with a to the power of n with the same base here. So, we have the same base a. So, it is equivalent to a to the power of m plus n. Right, so for the example, look at here. So we have same base here. So we can combine, right, by adding the power together. So here we have 2 to the power of 5. Right, look at the 7 property. When we have a to the power of n divided by a to the power of n, again, if you have the same base here, so it is equivalent to a to the power of m minus n. So therefore, 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 2 is equivalent to 2 to the power of 5 minus 2. So this is equals to 2 to the power of 3. Okay, class, look at the property, uh, look at the 8 property, a to the power of m times n. Alright, so we just have to multiply the power here. So, therefore, 2 to the power of 2 cube. So, we are left with 2 to the power of 6. We have to multiply the power. Alright, class, look at the 9 property. We have different base here, a, b to the power of m is equivalent to a to the power of m, b to the power of m. Remember class, any value, any term in the column must be to the power of m. So therefore, if you have 2 times 5 to the power of 3, this is equivalent to 2 to the power of 3 
times 5 to the power of 3. Every value in the column must be to the power of 3. Okay, look at the last property. When we have A over B, we have a different base here. We have A and B to the power of N. So, therefore, it is equivalent to A to the power of M over B to the power of M. So, therefore, 3 to the power of 5 to the power of 3 is equivalent to 3 square over sorry 3 cube to the power uh, over 5 cube here right so that's all for today class thank you